Hi everyone, welcome back to DevDoge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. Continuing our journey through variables, let's open again our IntelliJ Community Edition. And now we are going to continue from the previous class. So we are opening exactly where we were. And now you can see that we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, primitive types. Now, if you run this program, nothing will happen. Control Shift F10, and you will see it will start and it will finish, and we will not get anything as the as response in the console. Why is that? Because we are just declaring the variables, we are assigning values, but we are not using those values. One thing here that you should uh, notice is that when we are um, starting, and I actually just figured out that here there is a typo, it should be args. Uh, actually, you can write anything, the program will work uh, because you're going to learn uh, there in the Java one for all that this is just a name you are giving. But the convention is that here should be args because these present arguments. Okay, but uh, about the program, the program, the, your algorithm, it will always run top down. It means it will execute this line, this line, this line, and so on until it finishes. So we are going to see in future videos how we can debug, but basically you have to remember that it will start executing from the top and it will go all the way down. Now, let's just print all these uh, variables. So let's do it one by one. Age, let's use a string and then we are going to do concatenation did you see that i just made this appear there is a shortcut so if you type salt and you press tab intellij will write system out print ln if you are not familiar and you want to type like system dot out dot print ln is also uh, possible so it's up to you. So age, then plus age. So it's going to print the string age and the value that we have stored in the variable age. Now you can type all of them again. You can do it one by one. I really recommend you to do it uh, until you get used to that. I am used to that already. So I will just go forward and uh, have everything here. So we have H, we have house number, and then plus house number. You can see that IntelliJ recognizes that we have a variable here. So we can just press enter and it will auto complete. So I will teach you another shortcut. I really recommend you just start typing everything until you get used to, or you use the shortcut pressing tab after typing salt. But there is another one to copy. I just want to copy this line, I can press Ctrl D and it will duplicate. It's like a shortcut for Ctrl uh, C, Ctrl V. So we are copying and pasting the same line, we're just duplicating and then I can come here and I can have counter and counter and then serial number, serial number, serial number and then regular salary regular salary regular salary and again control d control d control d so we have here our future salary Elon's musk salary uh, actually you see here that i made a mistake so i have regular salary and i'm following this one it should be elon musk now if you want to move this line up you can Ctrl X, you're cutting, and you could also press Ctrl V. But then, let's say going back, Ctrl Z, it goes back to where it was. But let's say that I just want to move up. You can press Ctrl Shift arrow up. You see that the line is moving up and down. Okay, continuing, we have condition, condition, and we have gender 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 you see sometimes intellij is giving you like uh, like a warning some hints um, you can completely ignore but it will make your code better especially when you are developing like 
big systems, you should pay attention to what IntelliJ is telling you. Now, let's press Ctrl Alt L. You see that you should usually have a space in between. So if we press Ctrl Alt L to format our code, you will see that it will give you a better style. So something that makes our code readable. So readability is one of the most important things um, in software development. Now that we have everything, uh, let's press Ctrl Shift F10. And we can see here everything. So basically age, uh, house number, counter. So every one of the variables. So you can see that in uh, Java is just having a summarizing this. We could reduce a little bit the number so it will not have to change it. There we go. And then condition false and then the gender M or male. Now, if we remove the LN, I told you that the LN will always print whatever you have and then it's going to jump one line. So if, by the way, I want to remove this and I want to print in the same line, you see that it will not jump and then it will be H and then house number in the same line. So Control Shift F10. And we have here H and the same number, the house number here in the, in the same line. So the LN is going to jump one line. Oh, Control Shift F10. And as you can see, the software is going from top down. Your algorithm is going to execute line by line starting from the line 3 up to the line 20 and then actually 21 technically and then it's going to finish because there are no more instructions for it to keep running okay so basically this is it about the the primitive types variables now we are going to talk about the strings so in the next video we are going to talk about strings because a string is not a primitive type but it's something that you, you need uh, having strings as like variables where you can store the data in the memory will be something that you are going to do on your daily basis so let's just stop for now and then in the next video let's go for variable 03 so i see you in the next video bye bye